So welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. If this is the first time seeing me. My name is Charles Entry. I'm a tax consultant and I'm passionate about family. So here on my channel, I do talk about family in Ghana. So yeah, so if you follow my videos ever since I began this channel, I've been talking about farming in Ghana, interviewing farmers to see what they do on their farm, to also encourage you to also get involved in farming. So today, in this video, we are here to look at something that will benefit the farmers, that will also benefit you as a viewer watching me, in terms of where farmers can get to sell their farm produce, and where you as a viewer can also get to get fresh farm produce to buy. So currently, I'm in Accra, and I'm not wandering somewhere in any village or any bush or some farm. I'm in the city of Accra, specifically, I'm in Legon, right opposite the University of Ghana, right in front of the Legon City Mall. We are here to look at the Enterprising Farmers Food Market. So this food market is a market basically that, as a farmer, you can come and sell your farm produce here. Currently, I want to speak to the farmer to know whether it's here, it goes for a fee or it's free for farmers to come and sell their things. And yeah, it's also a place where, as, a, as an individual, you can get your fresh farm produce to buy. Ranging from palm wine to vegetables to meat, goats, chicken, poultry, anything that you want to get to buy. Actually, in the COVID season, we, are, we have to eat healthy, eat fresh things from the farm as well. So yeah, catch me as we get into the video. But before we get into the video, join me as we embark on this journey together by smashing the subscribe button if you haven't, clicking on the like button, and sharing the video as well. And also drop a comment to let me know your feedback on the videos that have been dropped. Let's just go straight to the video to have a discussion today. Individual who began this whole thing, this whole idea, first to benefit all of us, also get involved in. Family is a collective effort in Ghana, and we must all get involved in it. Tell me, I should get into the video. All right. So, uh, the I don't know if you You can tell us a bit about yourself. Okay. My name is Doji Kosi Ave. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doji Kosi Ave. Kosi Ave. The way you know, I can't Kosi or like. Kosi Ave. Oh, so the uh, spelling is different. Yes, K O R S I. Okay, okay, okay. So, we did, so tell us more about yourself. Um, I'm Doji, and I'm I'm a theater and English language graduate from University of Ghana. Already like a performance and creative entrepreneur, but Charlie, because of COVID, <laughs> we had to branch small and then try and find ways of um, surviving using other um, aspects of our life so um, my dad is he's also a creative person that and is. yes like he's um, a performance and a, a performance artist and a lecturer okay. and he has been farming like on the side almost all of my life oh, okay. yeah so we grew up with um, animals rearing animals we used to take care of goats sheep uh, sure. chickens, duck, rabbits and all those things and then we had like plantain growing behind the house, cocoa yam, um, cassava, palm nuts and it was a lot. Oh, so, on campus or like on campus. On so campus. originally we were living at um, New South Legon. That was um, behind Noguchi. They're down there. Down sort there. of like a valley, very rich fertile land and because of um, the nature of that place we had the luxury of like keeping livestock and then growing stuff mm. lots of stuff so unknown to me when we moved from there to main campus okay. he had got farmlands elsewhere he had been farming on a large scale low-key so, so what farm did he used to do oh he used to grow um he's grown um a number of vegetables so uh green pepper the bell peppers and we've grown um the assorted peppers, so we've grown kakoshi, but you see they are different as they are the big ones and, and the, the tiny, tiny ones. ones yeah. Then we've grown the chili peppers. Then chili we, pepper, interesting. Then we've also grown, um, we've grown maize. We are currently growing maize. Recently we harvested like a huge um, size of the yellow maize. Okay. So we've grown yellow maize, white maize, we have plantain, banana, now well, then there's a lot. Yeah, yeah. palm nuts. Uh, sweet potatoes, the orange fleshed ones, cassava. So yes, there's there's like it's a, a huge farm. Sure. sure. So um, during when COVID hit, during the lockdown, he realized that um, he had been facing some challenges already before COVID in the distribution of produce from his farm. Okay. And he knows um, a couple of other farmers that are also facing that challenge. And then the problem is with um, farm produce when they are produ produced on a large scale 
there is um, really no uh, difference between um, those who produce exponentially huge and those who produce more than they and their families can eat but it's not yet expo exponentially huge okay. so what happens is um, normally the suppliers who send them to the markets and then distribute to other places just go to the huge people and buy them wholesale boom and then go and distribute and sell in the various markets so those cuts in the middle who can't um, produce who can't uh, produce on such a large scale um, have to find ways of distributing their stuff themselves but sometimes some of them come together and then hand them over to suppliers and things like that it's like in this country there isn't really any like fixed like systems in place for food distribution you get me so it's like farming as much as it's profitable it's very risky business but to get the land invest in it do so many things and then uh, i let you do come and uh, how to get it from um, the markets for everyone to get so prices are going up and then things are getting like a on the farm. So um, when COVID hit he reached out to some other farmers he knew and then um, reached out to the management of Legon City Mall. Okay. And then not right behind us. Yes. And so since um, about September we've been Producers of um, natural or uh, organic stuff made in Ghana. So come and then go get fresh from Exactly. So the um, Fridays and Saturdays. and Saturdays. So we are here the whole day. We start in the morning and we close at 6 p.m. So since September, this has been one of the major things I've been doing, finding new ways to survive during COVID. And it's, it's interesting. Well, I agree. Well, I've been interviewing farmers for some time and I also began somewhere in September and always we go to the farm most of the challenges they face are getting a place to sell their farm produce and I believe for us we are watching there will be some farmers who will be interested in coming on board to also come and sell their farm produce yeah they are fresh like farm produce that you come vegetables to cut fish everything fresh from the farm but I want to know so for the farmers who farm do they have to pay something to go to sell or advertise their as, products here as at now we we aren't charging the farmers for anything originally when we started um, we had some um, packages but then our main thing now is um, we want to upscale what we have here and start um, advertising to a broader audience and then um, the investing community close by but our main challenge so far has been we don't have a market yet so um, certain vendors come and um, today they bring this produce tomorrow they don't bring that and i was the whole part of this was covid around we were trying to create a market environment for uh, patrons to come and get their foodstuffs okay. in a safe environment covid free where uh, people are wearing their masks people are um, social distancing they wash their hands and all of that sure and at the same time to what we also want to do is build um, a consumer farmer relationship so it's like if i come and get um cabbages or vegetables from um, enterprising farmers markets the food market i know that oh i get them from this particular person maybe holaskan and when i go and there's a problem with the cabbage you or can something i can give back. direct feedback so it's like you get to know exactly where the food you are consuming is coming from it's not just a random woman in the market who got it from some farmer somewhere and even the farmer like it's passed through a lot of hands to get to you so our, our main thing is safety covid safety and then um sanit sanitary on the food that you are eating and so one major problem we've been facing is um before we upgrade and start like advertising on a large scale okay. we want to make sure that we have some sort of a stable market so we are still reaching out to people to get more things coming here um at a point we had someone who was um, supplying us with um, eggs and poultry and other meat foods but then since uh we were on the Christmas break, they have not been able to come back because apparently they didn't have that large quantities and then they sold out exactly through christmas and all so currently 
one thing I feel is lacking here is um, someone dealing in like um, assorted like fresh meat and things like that. Okay. We, we have okay. someone dealing in pork, but um, aside that, we no longer have um, chicken, goat, beef, and things like that. So we are reaching out to people. Exactly. I mean, I, well, for the for poultry, I know farmers here in Accra we will be watching and they'll be interested we'll in be coming interested. Be coming aboard. And if you are a farmer, any farm produce you sell, as I said, it's free for now. You can just come on board, come and advertise. There are stands here that you can bring your tables or everything. Just come and sell your things here. So yeah, I know for poultry farmers, I have quite a number of poultry farmers in around this vicinity that can assorted, come on board. Assorted stuff. We, we want it to be a market. So ours is people who live close by come here, get a stuff they need. They don't need to go to Madina again. If you come here, you get everything you need from fruits, vegetables, food stuff, um, food foods, spices, oils, corn dough, corn flour, cassava dough, gari. Basically, almost everything. Everything. That's what we want to get. Everything. And um, over the years, it has been. Um, so over the few months that we've been running, it has been great. We've had um, a number of people coming with them, um, all kinds of food. There was someone who used to bring rabbits and even grow rabbit kebabs and things here. That reminds me, the rabbit farmers around. <laughs> you can also come. Oh yeah, that rabbits, is one of the meat that's 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 a... I get. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you want like different, any other this one assorted meat. That's various right food. now. The main thing we need is we we have um, Gabriel who brings us um, catfish, both. Um, Live smoke there, smoke we have um, another vendor who brings us cat, um, sorry, smoked fish, and then we have um, Amos. Amos sends, uh, he's from all the way from Volta region, and what Amos does is uh, he is in connection with um, the fisher folk in the area, so around Adan, close to Volta region, sort of Sugarcoffe area. So sure. he meets them and gets some um, fresh seafood and helps them with distribution. So this is one okay. of their distribution point so when you get here you can get like fresh like seafood and then fish from both river and sea and it's about 35 cities a kilo so you get to look at like the full big catch choose your choice it's weighed for you and then uh, you pay and it's clean and just for you so we have the fish and then we've also got fresh palm wine yeah, it's harder to come to that <laughs> <laughs> it has special skills in palm wine if you want the fresh and the latest palm wine here in Accra. <laughs> here the man has both. So you we we'll come to the stand, we we'll come to your particular stand, talk about the palm wine, sure. where you get them from and all. Sure. Yeah, so we we'll, would we'll, in our second video we'll go to the Enterprise and Farmers Food Market. We look at the various uh vegetables or the various produce that they have here. We'll talk to the individual like farmers who are around to see what they do. To also try to advertise some of the things. So that when you want something to buy, you can also come straight here and buy them. I have to assure you, they are fresh farm produce here. Anything you want here is just fresh. Here too, they are there into the COVID protocols. Wash your hands, you have to make sure you wear your loose marks and a whole lot. Yeah. So you can just get into the next video as you pay attention to look at the various farm produce that they sell here. And also, yeah, you also be interested in some of the things that you can come here to come and buy. So yeah, so it's not the first time seeing me. I'm Charles Entry. I'm a task consultant and I'm passionate about farming. So yeah, my channel just talk about farming in Ghana. Just do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button to subscribe. Hit the notification button to get a regular update as I when I drop new videos. So yeah, catch us again to the second part of the video.